a somewhat enigmatic pair of Soviets. Larisa Seletsneva and Oleg Makarov were fourth at the Olympics after a rather disastrous sixth place in the short program, and they had exactly the same results at last year's Worlds, seventh in the short, finishing up fourth. minute taller this time. The two double flips was the problem that they had in Calgary. Those were successfully done. This pair is an excellent example of the best in Russian pair skating. Soviet contingent in this audience is very much in evidence and perhaps that is the reason why the performance tonight is so much more relaxed and so much better than Calgary. program. Unfortunately for the Canadian judge, Dr. Francis, she may have a problem here because this performance was certainly stronger than that of Benning and Johnson. Yes, and she gave them marks of 5'5 five, five and 5'7, five, but this is something that we didn't see Makarov and Selection of do in either Cincinnati or Calgary complete their short program. This was the combination spin. The athleticism and virtuosity would have to have overpowered any kind of artistry, but the short program generally is for athleticism and not for an artistic statement. <laughs> Great looks of relief from this couple, although the United States judge refuses to give anyone high marks. They do have marks of up to 5-7 and have 8 out of 9 first place marks for their first set, at least going across the board ahead of Johnson and uh, Benning. Let's see what they do for their artistic marks. Ted, the U.S. judge certainly must have seen something that nobody else did. I didn't see it. A 5-1 is little more than an insult here. Now the second set of marks, and again the American judge didn't like them, down to a 5-0. The Canadian went down, that is Suzanne Francis went down from a 5-7 to a 5-6. But those once again are first place marks from all but one of the judges. And we'll return.